In this part, we're going to focus on setting a margin around the PDF in JSPDF. So if I scroll down here right now, or if I even refresh here, you will see here, we click on this, you can see here right now it's all blank. I guess it somehow uh, uh, deletes one of these uh, texts here, but that's all right. We'll fix that later on. What I want to focus on is to create a proper margin. So we're going to draw a line at this side here where will be our starting point and then the other side what will be our ending point. This is very important because then we have like what we call a view, a Word document. We have a margin set left and right. So to do this, I need to go in here. I can just move this margin here for now and just go here up. And then what I want to do here is the following. I'm going to say here, very simple, that we're going to create here the margin line. So let's call this the margin lines, margin lines. And then our margin lines will be A4. This is very important. So we have the A4 item. And what is the A4 in inch? So A4 in inch is 8 inch or 825 inch by, and then the height would be 1175 inch. So this is very important. So with this, now we can start to calculate. So what I want to do here is the following. I'm going to say here a uh, PDF, and let's draw the line. I'm going to say here PDF, and then set, draw a color. And what will be our color here? Basically, I'm going to say, because this is like an RGBA color, or we can just make this black. We just say here in string, a black color. So now, once we have this, what I want to do as well is the following. I need to define the line. So how many pixels will our line be? What I want to do, I want to do only a single pixel. So we're going to say the following. We're going to say a PDF dot set line width. So we're going to draw the line and the line size will be one pixel. So how do we calculate the pixel? Remember the PPI 72? By default, one inch is 72 unless you have a higher resolution. So that will be a slightly different case, but I will ex exclude the exception. So PPI is set on 72. So all we have to do is we want to have one inch, or sorry, one pixel. We have to do one of 72. So we say I want only one divided by 72, it would be just one item of it. So that X percentage of it. So once we have this, now we have a one pixel line. We can now start to define where we would like to draw the line. So I'm going to say here PDF dot line. And now we have to set here a value. So let's assume the following. I want to have here at least a, uh, well, I guess 0 0.5 margin of space here and there. So that will mean that the line would be here somewhere 0 0.5 going down here, but up as well 0 0.5. So how are we going to do this? All right, so I'm going to give you some variables. You have to remember them because they become very important. Basically, the first variable, because here is, there's like this here, x, y, and then what we have again here is basically the, uh, uh, what is it, the width and height. All right, so these are very important. So the x, remember the x would define here would be how many pixels to the right would we like to go because we are starting here in the corner. So if x zero and y equals zero, we're starting now really in the corner here top. And what I want to do is I want to go uh, a margin or more specifically 0 0.5 margin to the right side. And then I want to go also 0 0.5 margin down. So the first one would be our starting X. And how do we calculate that 0 0.5 margin? Well, remember we set here our inch one value, a unit would be one inch. So if we want to have uh, a half inch, 0 0.5 would equal that. And then here again, 0 0.5. That will be the starting point. And then what I can do here is we can start to put in the next item. So what I want to do is I want to go from here, then we are somewhere here, all down to the bottom. And we don't want to hit the very bottom here. No, we want to have space of 0 0.5 inch as well. So we go somewhere here. All right. So how do we calculate that? So our width will not change because our line width is set on one pixel. I don't want to even move this at all. So that will mean 0 0.5 will maintain 0 0.5 here. Because what we're really doing is, just think about it, we're not going to the right or left. All we want to go do is going down. That's it. So we go vertically down, but horizontally we're not moving. So that's why no need to change this. Just maintain at the original position of 0 0.5. 
And then here, the height, how do we calculate the difference? Well, remember this here, which is the height. So what we want to do is really here, that will be the very end. We can just copy this. Now I'll just show you, and then later on, we're going to deduct it with 0 0.5. So if I save this here, we're not done yet. What I want to do, of course, here is, oh, well, we're done here with, with this, basically. We can just say here, save that. Then go back here, refresh, click on that. And now you can see we have a line here. But the line, if I go up here, is 1 inch or 0 0.5 inch. That's our starting point here. But if we go down, it's all at the bottom. Of course, what we have to do is instead of 11.75, we need to do 11.75 minus 0 0.5 inch would equal 11.25. So this is why it's very important to define this in advance. If you don't define it, later on, we will get a huge trouble but when you calculate everything and then you have to recalculate it again and it gives you a massive headache so we're going to save this again refresh click on that there we are all right so here we are go down there we are as well so now what i want to do of course is exactly the same at the other side i just want to have these lines here for the top we don't have to really put anything later on with the text we can just reposition it nicely and we have it here all down to the bottom so how do we do that one well that one is slightly more tricky Let's copy this, and I'm going to say here. All right, first one is the starting position on the X and starting position on the Y. So what do we know is we want to go at least down 0 0.5. Remember here up now, because now instead of only this part going down, is vertical down 0 0.5. So we want to start here 0 0.5, which is the Y value. But our X value needs to go a lot of items to the right here, or a lot of inches, or X amount of value to the right. So we're going to do that here now. So we're going to say here in this one, or at least the Y we know, that's the easy one, 0 0.5. And then here, what we have to calculate is basically the width. Remember, this is the height. So I'm going to just put in here H. H, and this is the width. So if I want to go all to the end, and then what we have to do here at the end, that will be 870, uh, 825, and then we have to deduct it with 0 0.5 uh, margin so that would mean 825 minus 0 0.5 would indicate that this would be eventually 7.75 all right so you you probably get the logic behind that so i'll just keep it like that but this will be 7.75 all right and then this here doesn't move basically you want the same line but exact opposite position you can almost imagine like a mirroring position a mirror in the center we'll just mirror it here at the other side so now refresh click on that all right so i am uh, all right so the, the, that caught me off guard all right so let's see what's going on here we, we went here and of course so let me explain what happened we went here on the right position starting point and then we go down here it goes here why does it go here because it's not 100 percent a mirror position so my bad it needs to be in the same position here. Same here, basically. This one and this will be identical because this one and this one must be identical. So this and this must be identical as well. So copy this, put it in there. Save that. And then let's go back here. Refresh. Let's look at it now. There we are. So now we have an inch here, or sorry, 0 0.5 inch here and 0 0.5 inch there. Beautiful. So when we now add up our text, as we're going to start working on, and we have a long paragraph, I want to make sure that the paragraph will be between these two lines here. And if it's uh, if it's on the line and the text is still not done, I want to move to a new line and do this. Next video, we're going to cover that.